In this video, we're gonna be taking a tour of Ormond Beach. I have the most expensive listing here in Ormond Beach. Make sure you stay tuned to find out how much this sucker costs. What's up everybody, it's Jim Day! And Bubba, with the for sale team right here in Ormond Beach, Florida. If you're new to the channel and you wanna know everything about working, sleeping, playing, eating, buying, and or selling anywhere here in the Ormond Beach area, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. We have people reaching out, but literally, every single day and we love it whether it's buying selling moving or relocating make sure you reach out shoot me a call text email message in a bottle or schedule a zoom in the link down below however you need to reach us we've got your back when we're moving to ormond beach florida let's get into it so we're here at tomoka state park one of the most beautiful places here in ormond beach check this out <laughs> located right here in Ormond Beach and it is world famous. You've got boating, canoeing, fishing, camping, hiking, mountain biking, and so much more. You can rent pavilions, they even have a concession stand here. Now it does cost money to get into the park itself. It's going to be $5 per vehicle, but it is well worth the money with all of the beautiful sights, the scenery, and just how massive this park is. I highly recommend coming by and checking it out. Also, another note, all of the water surrounding Tomoka State Park is actually a designated manatee sanctuary. So you're, you're gonna be seeing manatees when you come here. So come on by. Come on down! So we're here in front of the big pink buses right here at Astro Skate here in Ormond Beach. Now this is gonna be the only roller rink here alongside the coast. The only other roller rink nearby is gonna be all the way into land. So it's a great spot. You can come by, bring the family, they do have an adults only night from 80, I believe it's past 8 p.m. Um, on Saturdays, and it's a lot of fun. They have a lot of throwback music. More importantly, no kids. So you can come out, bust out your favorite moves on the roller rink, and have a great time. Now, what's also cool is behind the actual roller rink area, there is Ormond Lanes, which is a bowling area. It's a family fun center. You can go out there, bring your family as well. It's kind of a one stop shop when it comes to family entertainment and just kind of an alternative way to kind of switch up the weekend and have a good time. Here in Ormond... Uh, is there a mm -hmm. Okay. So here in Ormond Beach, you have a couple choices for elementary school. Top five choices according to greatschools.org. You have your first being Pine Trail Elementary School with a school of 700 some students, Tomoka Elementary School with 773 students, Pathways Elementary with the same number of students, and then Ormond Beach Elementary, which is actually right behind me, uh, with 344 students, and then Osceola Elementary School as well with a 400 students. Now here in Ormond Beach, middle schools, you only have one option. So you have one super big middle school, and that's going to be Ormond Beach Middle School with over a thousand students. So we're here at the Ormond Beach Public Library and look at this. They've got dolphins in the fountain. Come on. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And then look at this, look at this. Right across the street, you've got water right there. You got beautiful waterfront views as far as, as the water goes and then you got condos and stuff over there. Anyways, that's beside the point. And then this is also going to be the site of City Hall as well. So for all your City Hall needs, the library is right there connected to it. All right, so here on this side of the causeway, we have Casson Park. Now it's a smaller park in rel relation to the park that's going to be right across the highway here. Um, it's slightly bigger. And over here you have boat launch. You, you've even got rod repair over here. I mean, come on now. You've got bathrooms, you've got, you know, parking for your trailer and everything. It's awesome. They even have smoked fish and, you know, all the bait and the tackle that you can ever dream of. So this is actually my first time at this park specifically. And I'm actually blown away at what they have here. I mean, they not only have a, a fishing dock, it's like this giant U-shape that is, it goes underneath the causeway. It's literally the new Smyrna fishing like dock on crack. All right, and then you even have like the little, you, you have the fish cleaning sections right here. Come on, dude. New Smyrna, step your game up. 
Mormon Beach has some pretty cool stuff. I've, I've never seen a house literally on the water as much as this house is. And it really doesn't get much more waterfront than that. Hello. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Look at that, you got your nature's garden for all of your health needs. You've got Ormond Garage, which is actually historic. It's actually one of the oldest garage places in the US. Garage. <laughs> and then we're actually going to be coming up and over the causeway now this is going to be we're currently going right over the the little fishing area that we just went over so we're coming across the halifax river and look at that view that's the view that you have of the river that's not even the creme de la creme of ormond beach all right here is the view that everyone loves here in ormond beach that beautiful beautiful beach view that's covered by condos baby you can't even <laughs> see it so right there is going to be the casements and that's where we're going to be coming by just a bit now that's a historical house and that is actually the house a rockefeller himself baby john d johnny d And as with any city here in Florida, you have to have Publix at, at least one, if not five, right? <laughs> and there is Ormond Beach's favorite Publix just right there across the street from us here. And that's on the corner of Halifax and East Granada. Now, if you keep following this route, now, if you keep following this road all the way down, you're going to hit the beach side and you can actually drive on the beach itself. Now, for the beach pass, it is $120 for the entire year for non-residents. The amount of convenience that beach driving offers is absolutely insane because now instead of having to lug all of your, you know, all of your bags, all of your coolers, all of your fishing equipment, whatever it may be, now you can just leave it in your car, you drive your car exactly where you want to be, you post up and it's beautiful, right? So what makes this beach entrance unique is Granada is actually going to be the last section of driving. From this point further north, driving is done. So what's interesting is up here on Granada, the sand is actually too soft for even 4x4. Four four. We're in a subi, right? And they they, they don't even let you on the beach, right? Um, they, they're very strict on it. They said that it was just four-wheel drive only. And we have an all-wheel drive. And we have an all-wheel drive. Which, isn't that four-wheel drive? I'm just saying. <laughs> so for all you two-wheel drive cars and all-wheel drive cars, your exit onto the beach, where you can actually drive on, is actually going to be a mile and a half down the road on Harvard. So there's Riptides, it's right there off of Harvard. And they're the ones that are investing tons of money in sky advertising. If you look up in the sky right now, there's literally a Riptides plane with their big old banner. Once we get past this right here. It's uh, an unusually brown day here in Ormond Beach. The sand is a little more red than usual. Uh, usually Daytona, Ormond Beach, New Smyrna, this area is known for having really powder white, you know, very hard compacted sand. And I, I, I think it's because of all the shark attacks lately. There's, it's just blood it's been some water. chum in the water, baby. That's right. <laughs> all right, so here in Granada Beach, you can see the sand's red, as we already said. Not normally like this. Um, it's, this is pretty much the last spot you could drive with a regular car. Uh, but uh, as you go down, you can walk. They do have the beach shut off here for people that just want to walk. They don't want to be dealing with the cars driving back and forth. We're kind of mid high tide right now. Uh, so driving here is not that bad. What's cool about this beach uh, is it's less populated. 
most of the time and uh, so you get a little bit more space as you you know when you're out here uh, you, I can see the water is beautiful today the waves are yeah, they're all right looks like they're like three three to four footers maybe uh, not sure much about the surfing up here because I've never surfed up here but it looks pretty nice um, but yeah there we got we got the we got some beachside uh, eating and uh, I come here. They've got little birds. Those are good for lunch. And as seen on TV, look at this. You got Donnie's Donuts in Ormond Beach too. Not only in New Smyrna, you have one here in Ormond Beach. Um, I can't, I, I can't say enough about Donnie's Donuts. Honestly, it's it's one of my favorite donut spots. They're essentially their thing is custom donuts, right? So you pick a donut, it's got a base, and you can literally deck it out with whatever you want, right? Now, normal people tend to go less obnoxious with it. I tend to get everything on the donut. So, you know, do with it as you wish. It's definitely a spot you gotta try, though. Yeah, the, that's what they're opening. Down in uh, New Smyrna? Yeah, yeah. Is that even open? So we're down at the end of Granada and we're here at the birthplace of Speed Park here in Ormond Beach. It's going to be right all the way down at the end of the road and right behind me obviously is the ocean. Now earlier you saw us try to get onto the beach uh, via this beach access right here and the sand is too soft for, for, for uh, what was it, four wheel drives? Or two yeah. wheel drives. Yeah, yeah, all so, wheel drives. Yeah, the, the, the sand was too soft for all wheel drive cars. I guess it's four wheel drive only. I thought all of the wheels are all four. I, I don't know. Anyways, we couldn't get on. It's too soft. But right there actually is going to be the very end of the beach driving section. And you have multi million dollar homes with some of the very first plots of land with unobstructed access to the beach. You don't have to worry about cars, you don't really have to worry about tourists too much because the majority of the tourists are going to be everywhere south of this point. Not too many are hanging out by the section where you can't even get on if you have a car that has all four wheels that can... I'm very salty about the four-wheel drive thing, by the way. Anyways, Ormond Beach. And with the Ormond Garage, you can see some of the ancient ancient race cars in there that are just absolutely badass. So just down the road from the birthplace of Speed Park, you have Ormond Beach's number one most expensive listing. I'm here at Ormond Beach's most expensive listing. This is a 9100 square foot monster. It's got nine bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and it's listed for over 3.6 million dollars. This is literally the third house from the actual beach access port right there, right? One, two, three, and it is the biggest one by far. This house has completely unobstructed views directly to the ocean. There's no driving on the section of the beach, so it is insanely beautiful and it stays that way because you don't have cars running up and down it, baby. Come on by, check it out. And if you're interested in this listing, make sure you go ahead and give us a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom down below, and let's get you in this home. All right, so we are across the causeway at Fortunato Park. Now, this is a, essentially a twin park. Uh, similar setups, uh, similar sights, similar scenery, just you're on the other side of the river, and as you can see, just the expanse is just pretty great, right? 
it goes all the way down the entire way right now this park unlike the other side it doesn't have the same crazy fishing set right there's no bait shops there's no tackle shops and there's not an insane fishing structure to really fish off of you do have this padding area right where you can actually go ahead and fish but it's nowhere near the same setup as across the water here all right so we're in front of one of ormond beach's historical sites and this is the home of john d rockefeller senior the oil tycoon one of the richest men in history um he had this place here built um it's called uh the casements manor and it was built and because of the casements of the window casements is why it's called that i guess but um he has this as his winter home he used to come here down in the winter he used to hang out at the ormond hotel with people like henry ford thomas edison um all those big name dudes and uh anyways he actually died in the bedroom here um, on his just before his 98th birthday he bought this house um, in hopes of uh, being a retirement place in the winter until he lived to to his goal of being 100 years old didn't happen didn't have enough money to buy himself more time in life I guess anyway so it's a beautiful looking manor and uh, yeah that's all I know about that history so the casements is a pretty cool spot right you've got the place where Rockefeller literally died right in his winter home and then right across the street, you have the Rockefeller Gardens. And it's a beautiful spot. There's tons of people that come out here and, you know, take their dogs, walk around, get some exercise. And with a view like this of the river, you really can't beat that, right? And that is our tour of Ormond Beach, Florida. If you like what you see and you're thinking of making the move, make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. All right, so if you're thinking about moving to Ormond Beach, but you're not sure where you wanna live, you wanna kinda of try things out, we have a great rent to own program. Link is in the description. Or possibly maybe uh, you can't find a rental right now because rentals are hard to find right now. Then uh, just click that below. It'll take you to a page where you can find out what, which program is gonna be right for you. However you need to reach us, We've got your back when you're moving to Ormond Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching.